I want to start off this video by stating that I have no problem with companies like PETA and other establishments producing games in an effort to try and get their point across. In fact, there have been some very good video games produced over the last couple of years that have contained important political and social messages. However, I feel that if you want to make a game concerning serious issues, it's extremely important to get the overall tone right and also to make sure that the game is at least semi-competent. Kitten Squad does neither of these right and is an absolute joke of a video game. My first impressions of this game were not good at all. The main menu screen is absolutely hideous, as is the grammar found in the extras section. I don't think I've ever come across a game that gives the player the choice of selecting about game. Neither have I witnessed a game which displays not on any quest when the player isn't assigned to one. If you want to make a game about a serious subject, it's important not to make the whole thing feel like a joke which is how I felt about Kitten Squad after spending about 60 seconds with it. Things only got worse after I decided to accept a story quest. What immediately followed was a story about a whale that had been captured and taken away from its natural environment to perform at SeaWorld for the rest of its days. I understand the point that Peter are trying to get across with these cutscenes, but they go about it in such an awful way, it really makes me wonder what the hell they were thinking. For starters, the cutscenes, like the rest of the game, look absolutely bloody awful. And the narrative is presented in such an in-your-face manner, it's hard to empathise or care. It goes from 0 to 100 in about 5 seconds. Soon after we are told about the whale being captured, we then move on to a scene about her being forcibly impregnated, after which we are told about a dolphin who is also at SeaWorld, committing suicide by repeatedly headbutting a wall. Whilst on one hand I am aware of the horrifying truths behind this imagery, on the other it feels like this game is just trying to be controversial for the sake of being controversial. If you want me to care about the plight of various animals, quite frankly there is a more subtle way of doing it than just trying to shock me as much as possible. Of course it can be argued that this is not a subtle subject, and it should be shown in all its gory details. But to me something about how this story is forced down the player's throat doesn't really reflect well on the company behind it. I also feel that if you want to try and get an important message across, it's usually a good idea not to make the dialogue disappear so quickly that it's impossible to read. Just a tip for you for the future there, Peter. The most jarring aspect about all of this is that once the cutscene ends, the player then returns to the actual game, whereby they are controlling a cat with a gun with upbeat music playing in the background. It's extremely juxtaposing to be presented with such a horrible story, only to then switch back to what looks like a children's game. It's like walking out of Auschwitz to be greeted by a carnival, it just doesn't make sense. After the cutscene ended I still didn't really know what to do, so I decided to head off to the open cave at the top of the screen, whereby I was confronted by some kind of robot alien enemies. Please someone tell me what any of this has to do with saving animals. After about 30 seconds of running around and not knowing the controls, I was killed. Now, I find it kind of ironic that a game which is trying to make a point about animal abuse allows the player character, which is a cat, to be killed and turned into a skeleton. It's kind of a double standard if you ask me. I mean, this is a company that had the audacity to moan about Mario wearing a tanuki suit in Super Mario Land because it, quote, sends out the message that it is okay to wear animal fur. Yet here Peter are killing cats in their own video game. The whole concept of this game is just bizarre and schizophrenic. One minute this game is trying to raise serious concerns about cruelty to animals, the next it's pitting the player against fighting alien robots that can turn a poor kitty into nothing but bones. Seriously Peter, what is this game supposed to be? Is it supposed to educate me or is it just a dodgy attempt at a twin stick shooter? I really don't know and I really can't believe that this game has been able to see the light of day. So please let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comments below and as always thank you for watching. Till next time, goodbye.